YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Better Beast, and we're back with another bank. As promised, we're going to talk about the defensive badges. There's only four new ones, uh, but I actually think they're they're kind of soup. This is this is this is pretty good for defensive badges, and you don't want the game to be too 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 defensive. But I think this is going to at least balance it out a little bit. And I thought last year was pretty balanced. Like if you knew what you were doing on defense, you can get a stop. That's that's how I felt. Uh, I don't know how it felt. Not been a guy that plays or a girl that plays 10 hours a day on the game. I don't know. But normally I play so much that I kind of catch on to the tendencies fast. I kind of, whatever, whatever, whatever. But today we're going to be talking about the defensive badges. And y'all been liking me to give the, the pro aspect of it and, and my casual side. Because people are like, oh, how can you give a casual perspective? When I, in all season, when I'm not playing against all the sweats in the 2K League, I'm running with my chat. I'm running with people from from the from my YouTube community. People that want to hoop. They just bad. I want a, I want a chance to show that I'm good. Come on, let's hoop then. If you stink it up, I gave you a platform. That ain't my fault. But uh, so I give you a, a perspective on that, and I get to sit down and chat with them guys a lot, and they're telling me some of the things they like with the game. And then I go hoop with my my, my friends and my, my my brothers, my cousins. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't play the game ten hours a day. They just going out there and I could just see some of the stuff that they doing. I get to pick their brain and I got my bills, Vince Carter bills, Magic bill, where I'm going to go have fun. So uh, I give you both perspectives on it. Now, starting off with fast feet. It wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be a fair game if only offensive players receive speed boosts. Fast feet, that's crazy. Because every other year, point guards were speed boosted. They just didn't have a badge to combat it. Now you got to have a badge to speed boost and they give you a badge to stop it. This badge might be cheap, actually. So just from that first sentence, yes, casual and perspective view, put that on. Put fast feet on, yes. Fast feet can be looked at as quick first step badge for defenders, allowing defensive specialists to stay in front of a shifty or shifty ball handlers. Yeah, so if, I, if I'm playing a lot, I'm putting this on. I, I don't want you out speed boosting me. Now they got double crossovers. So if you speed boot and double cross back, and I, I think the way it's gonna work is when you hit turbo, the feet gonna get to shuffle more, it's gonna push you fast to a side. So if somebody try to out speed boost you, you can catch up a little bit. But if they double move you, if they go right, double cross to the left, and you guess right, you might be dog. But if you got some good defense, fast feet probably gonna allow you to get, get a lot of contests that you probably weren't able to. Uh, right stick ripper, those who utilize the right stick Stick steel mechanic will receive a boost on steel attempts with right stick ripper. So, if you use the right stick and you try to strip the ball, you you probably gonna have a higher success than just pressing square. Like if the ball is going to the left hand, if you you know if you're using your hand that's closer to the ball, or if it's in the right hand and you reach with your right hand or your left hand, it'd be your left hand. But you probably get a better chance. And then it depends on how high your steel is, and then you gotta incorporate that with adrenaline. So. The way these devs are geniuses in, in the way the game is. But I think as a pro and as a casual, you want to put this on. You want to put this on. You plan on stealing the ball, especially like plucks. Yeah, put this on. I, I really like these first two badges. I, and since it's only four, I'm, if I'm playing lock, I'm probably putting on all these. Because they, they probably, ain't like, they only made four of them. Only four new defensive badges. So you probably going to want all these on. So, uh... And move bull enforcer. So this is basically a, a direct counter to bulldozer. Now, if you got like two or three people on the team with bulldozer on, and you just play with a bunch of LeBrons, that the opposing team probably not gonna have three people with a move bull enforcer. So you're gonna be able to bully somebody somewhere, right? Now, if you try to bully somebody with enforcer on, probably dead. So if you a lock, this is where strength matters. If somebody has uh, they're using a, a player with a lot of strength and, and they got like bully bulldozer on. You you put your strength up, you're probably gonna be able to get enforcer. This is a good badge. Now this, on the pro side, you probably ain't gotta worry about this like in comp too much unless you're dealing with the bigger players, they'll try to put it on. But other than that, uh, I'm lying, I'm lying. Cause the, 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 they, they gonna do it with bigs. They won't do it with shooting guards and point guards. Now a lot, like your, your small four through the five, those players will have it in comp. But now when you go play anywhere else as a casual, now this is gonna be, yeah, cause I done seen some crazy lineups. I come out there, I see two, three post scores, all three of them can shoot. They just pick on the smaller defender. Uh, this could be a similar thing of like, you running with, I got two Giannis Bills on the floor that can shoot from the corner. I got LeBron at the top of the key. 
And whoever don't got defense, attack them. We're attacking them. We're going at them. So, okay. I like it because it's a direct counter to Bulldoze. I actually think Bulldoze is going to be souped up because you can push people out of the way and dunk. I think it's going to be souped up. So, I, I like Enforcer. But so, for me, if I'm playing defense, depending on... So, when you're playing comp... Um, I, I, I kind of know who I'm playing against because I've been playing against these guys four, five, six, seven years. Uh, I, I would know who I'm facing, so I would probably have two lockdowns, one with it, one not. But as a casual, you probably ain't got to worry about it too much if, if you just guard a point guard. Now, if you guard bigger players, whew, yeah, you, you, you might be in trouble. Now, 94 feet. 94 feet players with 94 feet receive fewer body ups, stamina hits, and improve body up wins when pressing full court. So for me, and, and all the, the comp locks, they want to press full. They, they, they want to press full court. They want to press full court. So they're going to have this on. Um, and, and if they don't, you probably going to, they probably going to get hit. Like, and the way the Dales work, they can implement it into the game. Before half court, if they up there doing something they're supposed to do, they don't got that badge, they're going to get hit heavy. So, uh, especially probably like stamina and stuff. So it, it, I don't know how to affect the adrenaline, but yeah, you gonna want this on. You gonna want this on. And, and if you playing, if you play any type of lockdown, any type of defense, you you guarding the PG, you want this on, harass as much as possible. If you not guarding the PG, yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't putting this on. But this is my view on, on the defensive badge what's coming out. I really do like these a lot. If you're playing lockdown, I would say all of them. And uh. Just depends on, on what you're doing. I kind of feel like I explained it pretty good. If there's something else you want me to explain a little bit more than others, let me know. Drop it in the comments, man. I'm here for y'all, man. I'm playing the game 60, 70 hours a week, so I'm just trying to give you as much knowledge as possible. And uh, they they did do the the, the badge. Uh, they removed some badges, and I, I'm going to drop a video on the badges they removed because some of them I really, really like. But, uh, man, just keep showing me support, man. And I hope y'all have a good time with this 2K24. Uh, I feel like it's going to be a good year, especially with cross-platform. I think it's going to be a good year. But, Superboy Better Beast, we out.